Hi. Well, I completely screwed up a recent uh, teardown that you saw, that big uh, projector, that big 4K wide-angle professional like uh, that they use in military applications, uh, kindly sent in by a uh, mailbag viewer. Um, it didn't come with the lens, or so I thought. And when I was throwing out the box for that thing that contained all the foam peanuts, uh, it felt a bit heavy. So I <laughs> felt around inside, and what do you know? How do you not realize that there's this gigantic zoom lens inside that box? Oh, bloody foam peanuts. Anyway, let, let us know what's the worst thing you've thrown out in a uh, box not thinking that you had it. Oh, goodness. Anyway, look at this. So check out this Bobby Dazzler. This is the wide angle zoom lens or one of the lenses. You can get many different lenses for many different ap applications. If you can't, if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it, of course. Um, ultra wide angle zoom F 2.4 to 3.24 um, with 1.5 one, I believe it is. Uh, that's what the uh, I've got like the engineering drawing for it. Unfortunately, doesn't give much else. But yeah, it's got some zoom uh, capability. And isn't it an absolute Bobby Dazzler? Look at this. Now, I'm not sure I can actually use this thing for anything. Please, optical experts, leave it in the comments down below if you think I can actually use this uh, for something. I greatly doubt it. But uh, anyway, it does come with like an interface uh, ring here. And it looks like, if you have a look around here, there's actually uh, three motors inside this thing here. One, two, and three down there. And you can probably see the uh, the traction ring on there that rotates this entire... So this entire... Oh, it sounds lovely too. Listen. Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll put the mic up to it. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, there's three motors in there. So it's got three different... Uh, ways you can adjust uh, like the zoom and focus and whatnot um, in the thing and there's an interface uh, board up here with uh, 10 connections on but I was able to buzz out the uh, three motors on here so let's have a quick look got those two pads there 49 ohms and the two pads next to it 40 basically the same and then these opposite diagonal ones 208 so that is significantly uh different motor but the other two seem to be identical there um it doesn't appear like there's like a couple of resistors on the other side of this board i've taken that off and had a quick squeeze but there seems to be no nothing else in there really so yeah it's just uh three drive motors on it and if i manually turn that i can't see anything in there so that outer one isn't like changing the distance of the uh, lenses in there or anything like that. So that's probably, I don't know, the focus adjust or something. But let's have a squares. Let's try the power supply here. I put it 5 volts. I don't know if that will uh, work. So I don't know what these uh, motors are. But, you know, let's give it a go. Okay, this one here, positive or negative, doesn't matter. I'll just make it go forward or backwards. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. No, it can't go any further. Maybe it's at its extreme end. Yeah, there you go. And it will get to an end stop. Yep. And then all the way back. Oh, this is fun. Taking 26 milliamps there. Neat, huh? Now let's try the other one. Oh, oh, I can see the lens up in here. Hang on. Let's see if we can see anything in there. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's, it's moving the whole thing around. Hang on. Okay, what I've done is I've put a color chart behind here. So let's zoom in and have a squiz to see if I can't quite see on the camcorder screen what's that, what that's doing. You'll be able to see before I do. But let's give it a bell. It's gone all the way. It's so all the way in the other direction. I can see these pins in here moving up and down. So I've just fixed focus on that, and it looks like it is focused on that uh, color card in the background. It's not perfectly straight. It's a bit angled, but it's a bit how you're doing. But anyway, let's do the other motor and see what it does. It's very faint, whatever it is. I can barely hear it.
Yeah, there's nothing moving externally, but internally, it's certainly moving. But yeah, I don't know what that one's doing. Didn't see anything on the camcorder. Okay, I've got the colour card again. Let's spin that first outer one that we did. Oh, no. <laughs> it's moving the whole lens, damn it. So yeah, those were those two pins there. So that would be adjusting the focal length uh, there, I would imagine. Once again, I'm not a lens expert, so if I'm talking out my ass, which I almost certainly am when it comes to this sort of thing, leave it in the comments down below, but I'm going to start taking this sucker apart. Why not? Although, oh, should I? Actually, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just whack this on the second channel and maybe some people can let me know what you want me to do with this thing do you want to see a tear down i don't think it's going to show us much there's going to just like it won't be interesting like that uh sony compact uh, zoom lens i'll link that in um that was a uh terrific uh tear down um but this one i don't it's not going to be hugely interesting it's going to have a you know the big giant big bit of glass on the front and then just the internal optics bits i don't know uh, maybe i could do something else with it yeah before i rip it to shreds let me know if you think there's anything that i can do with this thing leave it in the comments down below catch you next time